Casey actually moved here from Missouri in third grade, and so I've pretty much known her since third grade. Jake was kind of the cocky kid in school, and so I didn't really like him very much. I was working full time and working on transferring to Iowa State, and she was basically the only person I knew up here and got a hold of her somehow. I think maybe we were chatting over Facebook or something and he said that he was going to Iowa State and we asked, he asked me for lunch. We ate lunch and then together one day and then we just started hanging out afterwards and pretty much just happened from there. From then on he was texting me a little too much so I was just kind of ignoring him so it was a long probably six months of ignoring before I finally gave in and she gave um, in. <laughs> yeah. He was really persistent and uh, we hung out one night and I just immediately liked him. Jake was in the army and then had a full-time job and went to school full-time and he was just very grown up. I mean we share a lot of the same values and you know she's really supportive of everything I do. He took really good care of me and always paid for everything and that's kind of just how I knew he would be a good husband. I just pretty much knew that she was wife and mom material. He uh, was like really in love with me right away and so I really like that obviously. I don't think any girl doesn't like that. So. <laughs> I actually asked her the day after Christmas, because when I went and bought the ring, I was going to give it to her for Christmas, like in some certain <laughs> special way. But the guy who sold me the ring said, make sure you don't give this to her on Christmas or New Year's Eve or anything like that, because it has to be a special day for her. And I had it, and it was just like burning a hole in my pocket. Like I, I just had to get <laughs> rid of it. We were uh, sitting there, and we discussed uh, getting married before that. And you know, I told her, um, you know, because we're both college students, so I told her, you know, I was just kind of messing with her because I already had went and bought the ring, and uh, they were sitting there talking about it and said, well, you know, maybe we should just go look at rings tomorrow. And she's like, okay, and then uh, I was like, you know, I, I'm sorry, but I don't think I'm gonna have the money to uh, to buy a, you know, a nice a nice diamond. You might have to, you know, settle for like a band or you know, a small diamond or something. She's like, oh, all right, that's fine, because I was really persistent about getting her, you know, the nicest ring I can get her. And, um, and she had no idea that I had an actual ring in my pocket and uh, kind of just pulled the ring out and asked her. I was just excited. Um, I think I cried a little bit. It actually made me nervous because she was like in shock when I pulled the ring out. She yeah, just kind of sat there I a second. Look at it. I was just looking at him like, is this really happening? And there was like a good 15 <laughs> seconds and she didn't say anything. I was like, uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> It was simple, but I wouldn't have wanted it any other way. I'm excited to get our own place with me and her and Duke and um, just be together all the time uh, and make a bunch of memories and the honeymoon. I'm excited for the honeymoon. Yeah travel. <laughs>